この番組はご覧のスポンサーの提供でお送りしました「f a n g g u a r d t h i s t e c h n i q u e a l l o w s y o u t o p a r r y e n e m y a t t a c k s i t r e q u i r e s p e e d a c c u r a c y a n d s t r e n g t h a n i n j a w h o p e r f o r m s t h i s t e c h n i q u e i n c o r r e c t l y w i l l p u t h e r s e l f a t a d i s a d v a n t a g e a n d p o s s i b l y Catching an enemy while in the air, this technique allows Rin to drive them into the ground without a chance to recover. With that amount of force that the enemy hits the ground, they are almost guaranteed not to survive. <laughs> This technique, ninjas can jump toward a wall, then continue to run up the wall. It requires great leg, stomach, and even back muscles to keep balance and perfect this technique. Hawkeye allows the ninja to see further than the naked eye. Legend says that the ninja had eyes as acute as a hawk's. Whether this was due to training or use of tools is not known, but perhaps it was a special skill like this that gave them this power. Ah! 
Uh. Numbing strike. By applying pressure on a specific pressure point, a ninja can temporarily shut down an enemy's nervous system, effectively paralyzing them for a short while. The victim will not be able to see or hear for the duration of the paralysis. Shadow. With this technique, a ninja is able to become one with the shadows and hide her form from suspicious eyes. While in shadow form, Rin can approach targets, even from the front, and perform stealth kills with ease. Long Claw, a claw technique used in battle. Using the grappling hook, this technique allows you to attack enemies after they've been knocked back, but it requires much practice. Spider's Nest. This technique allows you to stick to any ceiling and observe enemy movements below. Only a true ninja who has undergone intense physical training has the discipline to use this technique. In addition to the Hawkeye technique, a ninja can further train her eye so that she can strike at enemy pressure points and vital organs with a shuriken, even at a great distance.
Mimicry. By mimicking the sound of an animal, a ninja can manipulate the senses of anyone close enough to hear. This technique is best used when Rin has accidentally made a sound and guards have grown suspicious. What's that? What's that? What's that? Crimson Final In the last stage of the Crimson Attack, a master ninja can crush her enemy's skull in such a way that nothing could ever revive him. It is truly a fearsome technique. Put down your sword. At the end of a flurry of attacks, Ayame can unleash a devastating kick attack low to the ground. While this technique is but one in Ayame's arsenal of attacks, its high attack power makes it one of her favorites. Someone there? <laughs> especially useful in areas with many places to hide and many corners to turn. This technique is practiced by sprinting with weights attached to one's legs.
inner ear. By sitting close to the ground, putting herself under a sort of hypnosis, a ninja can hear even the slightest of noise by picking up vibrations from the ground. It requires great control over one's heartbeat and breathing to do this technique. False wall. A great deal of a ninja's power comes from the manipulation of people's senses. The false wall technique allows a ninja to blend into surrounding walls using sheets of cloth painted in patterns to match those walls. When surrounded by enemies, Ayame can spend a moment focusing her inner energies, then lash out in a great attack, striking all those nearby. In this game, Ayame has yet to perfect this technique. She has perfected it since. Sounds like everything's going according to plan. I doubt they suspect that they'd be betrayed by one of their own. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, my God. 